AFC. Let's dive into football talk for today. And, of course, as much as we hate it, we have to get into the political side of things. We talked about it on Friday. Uh, Michael said Blade just laid on the guy the whole fight. Yeah, he did. It was boring. Um, We talked about it on Friday about the NCAA and the SEC coming out and discussing the uh, the state of Mississippi flag needing to change or they will not allow championship events to be held in the state. Today, the governor of the state of Mississippi came out with a statement, and I want to go ahead and read it. The guy's name is Tate Reeves. He said, Over the last several years, I have repeatedly warned my fellow Mississippians that any attempt to change the current Mississippi flag by a few politicians in the Capitol will be met with much contempt. If the leadership in 2001 had not put it on the ballot, then the conversation may be different. But they did. And therefore, we must work together to find a solution where, when everyone has their say, we can come back together as a family and prosper. We must work together to find a solution that, once all is said and done, unites us as a people proud of our future. I've been thinking and praying hard about the best way to accomplish that. Over the weekend, there has been a proposal floating amongst some of the legislature to create a second Mississippi flag. Let's call it the, quote, separate but equal flag option. While well-intentioned, I'm sure, it does not meet the threshold. Any similar plan would actually accomplish the exact opposite of our stated goal. It would actually divide our state more. I don't believe it would satisfy either side of this debate, and I don't think it is a viable alternative. And... The biggest response to that was Kylan Hill, who is the starting running back for the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Kylan Hill had the option to go to the NFL, probably would have been a uh, a rather high draft pick, I would guess third, fourth round, somewhere around there. Uh, He can catch the ball out of the backfield, whatever. He came back to school, though, to represent Mississippi State. He jumped in and said, either change the flag or I won't be representing this state anymore, and I mean that. I'm tired. And it wasn't just him. A lot of his teammates have jumped on the bandwagon and said the same thing. And while I would like to think that the NCAA coming in, you know, my initial response was the NCAA doing this, a lot of baseball fans, they're surely they're not going to sit back and just let the NCAA take baseball regionals out of this state. And yet Chris sent over an image of the governor of Mississippi from this past election cycle, which was in 2019. It was just last fall. This is less than a year ago. This is like nine months ago. This is the picture of the governor of the state of Mississippi. Just hold it still. You can see it. There you go. So if you're watching the show live. That was a, that was a speech that he gave while running for office. In Vicksburg, Mississippi. State of Mississippi. To be governor of Mississippi. And that guy won the election. My when I sent that over, you can take it down now. Yeah. When when I sent that over, I made it clear that I don't think there's any way on earth this gentleman, I use the word gentleman pretty loosely there, is ever going to have this flag changed because it is a part of him. You don't stand on a stage like that if that is not a part of who you are in your identity. Well, Chris hey. also brought up that uh, that he went to Millsaps. He did not go to yeah, Ole Miss. He's he not an Ole Miss guy. And he's not a state guy. He yeah. don't give a damn about those two schools. Yeah, it's really it, so. There were a number of disheartening things in his statement. Uh, the first, the the separate but equal flag, like that. Just I, at least he did say, "I don't think this meets the threshold." Listen, you don't need to even tell the public that somebody thought of that idea. Okay. Yeah. These are people you're listening to. These are right? people that were voted into office. I don't need to first. You, listen, let's go back to, to the, the office, okay? It's really fun to laugh at the losers. We don't need to talk about the rejects, all right? Don't tell me all the bad ideas that you're saying no to. That That's not leadership. That doesn't make you sound smart or make us trust your leadership, all right? Yeah. Because you said no to a bunch of bad ideas, you told us about those, doesn't help anybody. We want to hear the good idea. Come up with something. Uh, the other thing that was incredibly disheartening, he is still harping on the fact that this was voted on in 2001. The world 
has because he completely changed. Want to do it, he doesn't want to change. Agreed, agreed. No, but but saying that if it was voted on twenty years flag, ago, he will vote now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's so. So tell me. Uh, hold on, Michael said, wow, people complain that they either vote for these people or don't vote at all. In Cali, we have politicians that have done nothing, yet they still get elected. And then he said, Pelosi. I, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a lot of it. Um, and hopefully, you know, voter registration is way, way up in basically every state right now. So you would hope that people will get out and vote. Um, you know, it, tell me what you think, Chris, it would take for this state flag to change. Or is there a way to? I, 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 I fully believe this guy is not going to do it. So the only thing I can think of is somebody through legislation proposes that does whatever the legal ramifications are to force another election for us to vote on the flag specifically, and and it passes. My problem is, and my fear is, I don't know that it passes because I do think. It needs to change. You and I have made that clear what we would vote. And we know many, many, many people that would vote for it. We also know many, many people that are very upset that they have to change this flag. So I, I sent that flag Friday evening after the show. Day ended. Went outside the back deck. Had a few pops. And uh, I sent that to a friend of mine who texted me earlier the day and was just like, what's going on in Mississippi, man? Like, tell me what it's like because he doesn't live here. And I sent him that picture, and I said, this is the guy, this is our voice of reason. This is our leader. This is the person that's going to make this decision. And I said, how shitty is that? Yeah. And this was, this. now it could have been the boozing hitting, I get a little emotional when I drink. His response kind of twisted my thinking. He said, it could be worse. And then about three minutes later, he finished his statement. He said, you could be black and live in Mississippi. And I thought, I don't know. I, I, I don't like that flag. I want the flag changed. I've been pro. I don't know that I ever thought as simple as that. Yeah. As much as I want it changed, I've never actually put myself in the shoes of black people in Mississippi that are stuck in this shithole. Yeah, um, and, and it's that, it, that just kind of changed my. No, it, it never. It didn't even change my opinion. It just changed. You're thinking. All I don't know. It just made me. Yes, it made me feel different. My my opinion is made up. I, I I believe what I believe. It strengthened my belief, but it also gave me a different level of compassion that I didn't have, and empathy that I didn't have. Not that I wasn't compassionate or empathetic. I just never even thought of it like that. I never even thought, wow, I do think it sucks to live here, but I never thought about what it's like for them to live here. Well, and that's, uh, it, that is the big thing that Kylan Hill is jumping in on, and it, it won't be just him. There will be nope. students that will sit out over this issue. Now, it's, it's kind of crazy. Uh, let's see. Ben said, does Mississippi State fly the flag? No. Uh, they and Ole Miss, and I believe Southern Miss, have all – Agreed to not fly the state flag. Uh, Michael said, who do people in your town community uh, think about the flag? I'm thinking you meant what do they? Um, it, the what people that we know. Uh, I think, I think the people that I know are very split on it. Like my, I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and say this. I have family members that are conservatives that would be perfectly fine with getting rid of it. They, they think it's a hindrance yes. on this state. So... When I say split, it's not 50-50, and it's not, you know, every every Republican friend or conservative friend I have thinks we have to change or have to keep it. But but there there is a there's a big enough number of people that I know that think we should keep it that I it, it worries me on will it pass if we put it to a vote, which is why I don't think this is something that should be voted upon. This is something a leader should be able to say, okay. It's yeah, time we're to changing. Make change. Yeah, and you don't have to ask permission of everybody. We don't vote on everything the governor does every day. Okay, that person is supposed to be a strong enough leader to where they can make decisions, justify them, explain why they did what they did, and move forward. Okay, it's why they were elected. Yeah, if we're uh, just going to vote on everything, we don't need a governor. We're just going to vote on every problem. 
Yeah. Ben said, uh, does opinion on the flag change in different regions of the state? Yes, 100%. Yes, 100%. So, but I think that happens in every state, right? It's you, You've you got different sections yeah, of Miss, the state. Mississippi is no different than most. I mean, yeah. up the northern Mississippi that borders Memphis is very much Memphis light. We are more involved in the suburbs of being the Memphis city than we are anything in Mississippi. The Gulf Coast is very much a coastal town, like any other beach coastal tourist town. Yeah, community. And then everything in the middle is the Mississippi Delta, and it is what you think of when you think of rural Mississippi. When you so you got on, you've got Jackson, Mississippi, uh, and then over on the side of that is is more Delta, and then over on the Alabama side, uh, it is you know a lot of woods, a lot of everything else. So it's it it's split a lot. Um, Michael said, sorry for the typo. I would guess in Mississippi, you have a bunch of older conservative people that would want it kept the same just from the outside looking in. Yes, there are a lot of those. Yeah. Um, yeah. And those people are the people with the money, by the way, those are the people that these, these politicians raise money from. That's, that's the biggest issue with money in politics is those who have money make all the rules because they are the ones that have the influence. Tate Reeves doesn't give a damn what I think. Okay, because yeah. I've never donated a penny to his cause, and he knows I'm not donating to his opposition's cause because I don't have the money to donate. The the biggest companies in the state are Toyota, Nissan, etc. Uh, and I don't think that they really care. Those are one two owed. big ones. Those are two big ones. Yeah, a lot of farming industry in this state. A lot yeah. of money in farming. The only thing that would change this, I think, would be bigger companies pulling out of the state. And I don't know that there's enough big ones to do that or that would do that. Well, I think if they're here, they're here for a reason. They're here because it's financially beneficial for them to be here. And it would cost an absorbent amount of money to leave. Yes. Uh, Michael said, I think putting it to a vote would be the right thing to do. The only issue is if they vote to keep it, then what happens next? That, that's why I don't, that's why I'm, af- I'm actually afraid. It's so insane. It goes against everything I believe in a democracy, by the way, that I am afraid of the outcome of the vote. Therefore, I don't think we should vote on it because I just think at some point in time, right is right and wrong is wrong. And yeah. there shouldn't be a vote on right and wrong. If you've got people that believe wrong, it's okay. And nobody gets hurt by the changing of it. You know what I'm saying? We're not, yeah. I think, it, I think it actually helps. Death. Yeah. You know, I think it's okay if you just make an executive decision to say enough time has passed, let's change this thing. Yes. Yes, I agree with you. 